Welcome back to another episode of this Derby County Football Manager Series. Shall we get into the press conference and hear how the recent games have gone? So we're back here ahead of the game versus Luton Town. We've played three games since the last episode. Get your questions in. Let me know. What do you want to know? So how has the team looked over the course of the last few weeks? Have they picked up some good performances? What have the results been? So since the last game where you saw, which was a 3-0 victory versus Swansea, we've gone away in the Carabao Cup uh, and played Stockport. We've played Sunderland and Coventry. We haven't taken a defeat yet. We've conceded just one goal versus Stockport. Louis Barry picked up that one. A host of changes in that game. We won 4-1 at Pride Park Stadium. We then went away to Sunderland with our strongest team available. Took away a 0-0 draw. We were very lucky with two goals disallowed for offside for the hosts. And then we've recently just played Coventry City. A 1-0 victory. Kane Wilson in the 67th minute but now we head towards Luton which is going to be a very very difficult game. With Luton Town currently sitting fourth in the division yourselves sitting third where do you expect this game to go where do you expect it to be won and lost? I think we've shown throughout our games that we're taking the games to the opposition and I think it's doing a really good job so far. Obviously, as you can see, only one goal conceded across the course of this season. And I think we're going to do the exact same thing heading into this game versus Luton. It's another away fixture. Two of the toughest sides in the division facing Sunderland and Luton away from home this early on in the season. It's good to get them out of the way. We've obviously recently been drew in the cup at home versus Peterborough. That's going to be in a couple of weeks' time. We've got some injuries injuries to worry about obviously um Joe Ward's picked up an injury he's going to be out for a couple of days and to Wanda Chiwa he's going to be out for a few days as well so it's going to be very interesting heading into this one versus Luton Town they've obviously done fairly well so far to start the season they've done similar to us three wins and a draw they drew with Oxford beat Plymouth and Pompey as well as beating Swindon Town in the Carabao Cup it's going to be an interesting one shall we get into it now, going back through the games, we go, went and played Stockport at Pride Park Stadium in the Carabao Cup. Kenzo Holdmine scored his first goal for the club. James Collins picked up a brace and David Ozo scored his first as well, as mentioned in the press conference. Louis Barry picked up his first goal uh, of the campaign for Stockport in that one. We went away to Sunderland and put in a really, really good performance. We were missing uh, Caden Jackson for the Stockport game. He was out with an injury. We then went to Coventry, made a few changes, Liam Thompson came in playing at left back, Nat Phillips, uh, David Ozo came in to Wanda Chiwa uh, and we had the return of Mendes Lang. It was a Mendes Lang assist which saw Kane Wilson score the goal. Shall we get into this one versus Luton Town? Shall we go and take all three points off them and put ourselves in a good position in the division if we want to look at it so far? Uh, two wins and a draw, seven points, two points off the top but we do find ourselves a good distance away from that bottom three. And the important thing in this one is staying in the division. So shall we get into this game? Let's pick the team. Let's put it together. Let's see what we're going to do in this one. I think we've got a really good opportunity in this one with the way that we've been performing. It's going to be very, very interesting to see which way this one's going to go. I'll get back to you when we get to the game. Well, this is the team that we're selecting heading into this one. With Mendes Lang still picking up fitness and Tawanda Chiwa on his way back from injury, we're sticking with a pretty similar side to the one you will have seen in the first episode. Zeta Strom in goal, a back four of Elder, Nelson, Cashin and Niambi, a midfield three of David Ozo sitting, Ibu Adams and Kenzo Heldmine just that little bit further forward, Blackett Taylor on the left, Caden Jackson on the right and Jerry Yates through the middle. On the bench, we've got Vickers, Thompson, Phillips, Wilson, Osborne, Chiwa, Barkazen, Mendes Lang and Dejan Brown. Let's get in to the game. So let's take a look at the opposition. Manager Rob Edwards, they've gone with a starting lineup of Tim Krull, Tom Lockyer, Ronnie Edwards, Mads Anderson, Victor Moses, Tom Cruise, uh, Marvellous and Kemba, Alfie Doherty, Taif Chong, Colton Morris and Felipe Caicedo. Former Derby County player Ted Mengi is on the bench. Let's get into this one. Let's tell the players we have nothing to lose in this one. Uh, Luton Town are the team expected to win this game. Let's go. Let's see what Derby County can do at Kenilworth Road. It's, gonna, it's a really important game in the early concept of the season. We've obviously looking to solidify our place in the championship to push for promotion next year let's see what we can do i've just noticed cashin and nelson are on the wrong side let's swap them over quickly uh confirm changes blackett taylor's thrown goal already oh got himself a corner early on it's a corner that's going to be swung in by calamelda an outswinger 
It falls to Yates on the edge of the box. It's gone just wide. That's another corner. Callum Alder taking this one. This time it's in swinging. It comes in. Where does it fall? Into the hands of Tim Krull. So we've actually done all right in the division so far this season. Obviously, uh, three games played, cup game as well. Uh, we'll probably do one game an episode for the time being. Uh, let me know what you guys do want to see. If you've got any suggestions for player signings in the January window, obviously let me know. Yates, oh, that's Caden Jackson. We've scored. It's 1-0, five minutes in. Caden Jackson picks up his second goal of the season. It's an excellent run by Jerry Yates. Look at him go down the line. We have absolutely done a football goal. And what a goal it is with Jerry Yates across the box. Tim Krull dives early. Caden Jackson puts it away. So as I was saying, yeah, let me know what sort of players you think that I should look at signing in the January window. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any budget. At the moment, we've only got like 650 quid, which is from uh, Jake Rooney's loan fee. Uh, what's Callum Elder going to do here? It's an in-swinger. It falls to Yates on the edge of the box. He puts it back in. Good save by Tim Krull. And obviously, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you think about the press conference type thing that I'm doing. I just... It's just something that I wanted to try, see if you guys like it. Uh, something a little bit different from uh, the things I see with the football manager content creators that I watch. So obviously let me know what you think. A lot of people have been asking on my main channel for me to do like a career mode series, whether it be on FIFA or football manager. Um, I don't even own FIFA, so I felt football manager was the best option. Uh, cleared away from the corner by Ryan Niambi. Caden Jackson on the counter. Where is it? Where is it? It's gone out of play. It's a, a, a mishit shot from, I think that was Ebo Adams. But yeah, so a lot of people have been asking for uh, career mode. So uh, this is the best we're going to do for now. Uh, I don't play FIFA. I haven't played FIFA for a while. Um, so we'll go with FM and see what happens with this one. Obviously, Caden Jackson breaking down that right-hand side up against Elfie Doherty. It's a cross into the box. Blackett Taylor heads into the hands of Tim Krull. Now... Callum Elder, back to Zetterstrom, finds Nelson. We've done really well with playing out from the back. Uh, Niambi finds Kenzo. Kenzo back to Niambi. Kenzo again. Caden Jackson. He's going to cross the ball. No, he's not. It's Niambi. Yates slots one in. That's his first goal of the season. It's a brilliant ball by Ryan Niambi. I'm not quite sure what Tim Krull was doing there. Shall we just take another look at this? It's some really good play down the right-hand side by Niambi, Jackson and Kenzo. And it's an excellent ball into the box. The defender mishits the header. Lockyer Krull dives, expecting it to close to the other side. What a finish that is by Jerry Yates. Kenzo Holdmine is on fire this season. So is the likes of Ryan Niambi. We've had a really good start to the campaign at the minute. I think we're going to be sitting top of the division. But what are we going to do in the rest of this game? We're currently winning 2-0. What are we going to do here? It's cashing now on the ball. Finds Ryan Niambi out on the right-hand side. Niambi, back to Nelson. Back to Niambi. Back to Zetterstrom. Finds cashing out on the left-hand side. Finds Ibu Adams. It's a Callum Elder now. He finds it inside to Ibu. And it's, it's a counter-attack now. David Ozo. It's Carlton Morris. That is 2-1. That's the first league goal we've conceded of the season. 30 minutes gone. 2-1. Derby County in the lead. It's a really good goal, that, from Carlton Morris. Oh, they're on the counter-attack again. It's Victor Moses. Finds Carlton Morris. Back to Moses. Cruz hits it wide of the post. That's a goal kick to Jakub Zetterstrom. We've actually done really well in this game. I feel like we're dominating the ball. I feel like we're dominating uh, everything to do with this game. Obviously, we're unlucky with that counter-attacking goal. Callum Elder, Kenzo, loses the ball in midfield. Taif Chong. It's all over the place. The ball is all over the place. Kenzo gets the ball in the box and loses out. It's really interesting game, this one. Uh, Luton not necessarily putting us under masses of pressure, but we're having lots of shooting opportunities. It's Victor Moses. He's, gonna, he's not going to cross the ball in. It's cleared away from Corey Blackett-Taylor. Tom Lockyer now finds a man in the middle. It's Kenzo Heldmine. Finds Caden Jackson. Jackson finds Yates through the middle. Yates shoots wide of the post. Well, ha Hull City beating Stoke, Sheffield United beating West Brom. It's three minutes to the break now. QPR 2-0 up versus Sunderland. Let's go into the dressing room. We're doing well. We're getting lots of shots away. We look okay. We're just going to make a little tactical change. Obviously, we have hit early crosses on. We're going to turn that to work the ball into the box. I think that's what we should be doing. So let's get into the second half. We'll make some changes around probably... Um, the 60th minute mark maybe we'll see how the game's progressing obviously 
if we're in a bit of a battle, we might need to go to a back three. Let's see what we do. We've obviously got the options on the bench with obviously Nat Phillips, Kane Wilson, Ben Osborne. We've got the opportunity to go to the back three if needs be. We can obviously bring on Dejan Brown up front with um, Jerry Yates if we have to go to a two striker. We've given the ball away there. It's Colton Morris. What are we playing at? What a goal by Colton Morris. Read the play excellently. Kenzo gives the ball to Ibu. Blackett Taylor loses the ball on the halfway line. Erin Cashin just doesn't know what he's doing. Colton Morris puts it past Jakob Zetterstrom, who is coming out his box to defend it. It's 2-2, 49 minutes gone. I think we may have to go a little bit more attacking in this one to get ourselves all three points. We're just going to let the game play on for a little bit now. Uh, Zetterstrom, what is he going to do? He hoofs it long. Loses the ball with Blackett Taylor in midfield. It's Taif Chong now. It's going to be three. It is not. What a save by Zetterstrom. Nelson, cash in. We're playing out from the back here. Alder. We've gone a little bit sloppy in the second half. I think I'm going to make some changes uh, around the 60th minute mark, as I initially suggested. Uh, cash in and Zetterstrom playing about with it here. What is Zetterstrom going to do? He rolls the ball out to Curtis Nelson. Finds Kenzo. Kenzo breaking at pace. Finds Caden Jackson. Who puts the ball wide? It's Jerry Yates. It's gone in, but the offside flag is up. It's We're going to make some changes. Uh, we're going to just watch this replay, and then we'll make some changes. Jackson, Jerry Yates is about a mile offside. It's a good finish. It's a good bit of play, but it's time for a change. What are we going to do with this team? We're going to go to a number 10. We're going to go two across the middle. We'll put Ibu as the ball winning midfielder. We'll put... Um, Ozo as a deep line playmaker. We're going to drop. No, we're going to keep it like this for now. We are going to make a change. We're going to bring in Mendez Lang for Corey Blackett Taylor. And we're going to bring in Kane Wilson for Ryan Niambi. We're going to put him on complete wing back. And we're going to drop Callum Elder to a full back on support just to give a little bit more cover in that back four area. We're going to keep the rest as it is. Uh, we might make some changes a little bit later on. End up going to two strikers. But let's see. Uh, let's click play. Let's see what's going to happen in the rest of this game. Obviously, it's been a very even game. I think we've created the better chances, but they've taken their chances as well. Colton Morris with both goals for them. 60 minutes played. Uh, Ibu Adams, David Ozo, Callum Elder out on the left-hand side. Beats his man. Beats his man again. Cross into the box. It's cleared. Kane Wilson now on the edge. He squares it across. It's blocked. Ibu Adams, David Ozo. What are we going to do here? Ozo gives the ball away in midfield. I can't lie, if he does that again, he is going to be taken off. Uh, Callum Elder throws the ball long. It's Callum Elder again. Switch of play. Caden Jackson loses the ball. It's Doherty. It's Nelson clearing the ball. It's This is a very difficult game to call. It's going to be three there. No, it's not. What an excellent save by Zetterstrom. I think that was Adebagio who could have put that into the back of the net. It's a great save again from Zetterstrom. It's a goal kick. It is not a save. I absolutely lie to you. We're going to change up the system. We're going to go 3-4-3. Uh, three, three. Keep your eyes peeled. This is what we're going to do. We're going to... Uh, let's move Callum Elder up the pitch. Let's move Kane Wilson up the pitch. Let's pull Ebo Adams into the midfield. Let's swap those over. Let's go ball winning midfielder on the left. Let's go uh, advanced playmaker attack on the right. We're going to go with two inside forwards. We're really going to go for the win in this game. I think it's there for us. Uh, ball winning playmaker on cover. Uh, ball winning playmaker on defend. Let's get Nat Phillips in. Um, let's get uh, Tom Barkazen in. Let's get who else we're we going to bring into the team. Let's bring in Tawanda Chiwa. Let's make that a DLP on support now we'll DLP on defend and we'll go ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, Mazzola on attack let's see if this team can go and get us all three points I've got faith in the boys I think that we can do it we've got 20 minutes now uh, with this change of system let's see if we can bring home all three points it'll be a second draw in the league campaign if we only come home with one I think we needed to make the change to get some players closer to Jerry Yates. Cash in, finds the ball out to Kane Wilson. Tom Barkay's in now. He plays it across. It's blocked. It's Callum Elder. Shoots. Goalkeeper saves. What a save by Tim Krull. Are we going to be able to get all three points? I think it's looking unlikely in this one. I do think it's looking a little bit unlikely. 
gets a corner now. Alexis puts it in, headed away. And Panzu, is he going to shoot? No, he puts the ball across. It's cleared. It's not cleared. It's back. It's Ronnie Edwards. Wide of the goal by Adebegio. Let's just go. Let's go all out for this one. Let's put Mendes Lang. He can play through the middle. Let's put Barkays and he can play through the middle. Let's go advance forwards. Let's go DLPs on support. Let's get to Wanda Chiwa in that number 10 role. Let's move Callum Elder up the pitch. Let's move um, Kane Wilson up the pitch. You're probably going to think this is a very stupid decision, and it probably is. We'll keep uh, Kenzo on that DLP role. We'll actually... Can we drop him a little bit deeper? Yeah, we can. Let's put him there. Let's get... Um, Let's get both the wingers on it. Let's get one of the wingers on attack. Let's get Barkazen on attack. Let's swap them over. Let's see what we can do here. Let's focus the ball down the wings. Let's stop playing out of defence. Let's go a little bit more direct. Dribble less. Be more expressive. Hit the early crosses. Pass it into space. Distribute it to the flanks. Let's get a much higher defensive line. Let's get. Let's stay on our feet. Let's step up. Let's do everything we can to go and get three points. It's absolutely mental. I shouldn't be doing this this early on in the season, but sometimes what's got to be done is just got to be done. And this is what we've got to do if we want to try and get three points here. And yes, a point is better than none, but Mendes Lang gets up the ball here and let's see what we can do. We're absolutely crowding out their back three. Curtis Nelson, that's Kenzo. Yates loses the ball. Kenzo again. He's dictating the play in there. Callum Elder, it's gone wide of the post. That's going to be a goal kick. Four minutes to play now. Mendes Lang is putting it in the box. It's going to be an in-swinger. Where is he going to aim? Who's he going to hit in the middle of the box? Let's watch this ball come in. He puts it in. It's cleared. Doherty now. He's, he's at home and away, but he's given the players time to get back, and they have done so. It's uh, Mpanzu now. Harris on the left-hand side. It's a cross. Adebagio going for the three points. has cost us three points here. Tactical disaster class. You know, sometimes you've just got to go for it. Sometimes you win some, you lose some. It's just what happens in football. It's disappointing to come away. It's going to be really disappointing to come away with nothing. Especially, I think we went 2-0 up early on in the game. What a shame. Harris now puts the ball in the box. Wilson clears. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for it. But you have to. You have to go for three points. I'd rather take three than one. It's going to be the first loss of the season against Luton Town. A very good team, very good team in this division. What's going to happen here is Etterstrom's going to poof it long. We lose the ball. That is game over. That's 3-2 Luton Town. Going for the all-out attack was probably the wrong decision. Luton Town kept it calm and composed. I just felt like if we could have... Got another opportunity. I think we would have. I think we would have probably scored, but we just couldn't get that opportunity. As you can see, uh, just lacked opportunities in the final ten minutes. Disappointing. Uh, it's unlucky result really, because Luton Town are, are definitely a better team than us in the division. We slipped down to seventh place after four games. Very very disappointing early doors. But it's one of those, we look at the squad, there's obviously things we can change heading into the next game. The next game that you guys are going to see is going to be Preston at the end of September. So if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video.